Durability is, is certainly an important factor. You know, when I watched it being assembled, I thought, wow, this boat goes together quickly, but it still looks so, so frail. But even from my own experience, a frail looking boat can be a lot tougher than, than you expect. In this episode, we are going to look at the unique performance aspects of the track. In particular, the hydraulic jacks, which allow the kayak to have an adjustable hull for all conditions. We will look at how surprisingly durable the track is for such a simple construction. We will also discuss larger paddlers and side winds, flat water and surf. But this is a very special kayak too. It's, it's different, isn't it? It is very different. It's a 16 foot sea kayak that fits in a 4 foot bag. So this, like the, the sea kayaks that you see that are like one big piece, you couldn't ship those or anything. You could take this on a plane. Yeah, you can fit it in your smart car, you could put it on a plane, you know, take it to the Caribbean. In Belize, Central America, and we've got Jack out on the water, and he's uh, going to help me test how the boat responds with a bigger paddler. And Jack's pretty much uh, almost two, two of me, I guess, in a way. Uh, I paddled uh, um, folding boats before, but this one is nice. Yeah, I just took it out for a short spin. I prefer a boat with a rudder, but this one having an adjustable rocker and being able to put a twist on it, it's kind of a nice feature. It seemed to be pretty easy to steer just with a flick of the paddle or a flick of the hip. Initial stability I found a bit low, uh, but that uh, could be a matter of my build. I need, a, I need a boat with a fairly broad base. When you look at it, you think it might kind of sit low with a guy my size, but it's, uh, it's got lots of buoyancy, so uh, that, that was not a concern. The size of the cockpit opening is important to me, especially since I'll often get in and out of the boat while it's in the water uh, for snorkeling, etc. This one has a good sized cockpit opening. Plenty of room for a, for a big guy like me to get in and out. I can get my legs out, no problem. I'm not that tall. Somebody with longer legs might have more trouble, but that's pretty much a standard size cockpit combing for a single boat. The other thing, the other concern that I have when I get in a boat is the width of the seat. And I found that this seat is a little narrow for me. I can feel it pinching the sides of my bum a little bit. With a load capacity of 300 pounds, the track makes a great day trip for larger paddlers. You may have issues if you're extra wide or extra tall. That weight allowance often doesn't allow much room for expedition gear. I'm not, I'm not entirely sold on the hydraulic system, although I do like the fact that you can use it to modify the rocker. I think that's a, a pretty interesting little trick. This is a good time to look at the construction of the track. Okay, and what's it made out of? It's made of a military-grade fabric, like a polyurethane. That you know, you, they build 250,000 gallon fuel bladders out of the same material. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, and it's made of the same aluminum that's in a Boeing 777. All parts are sourced to an aircraft-grade standard and are machined, assembled, and tested at the Track Outdoor Gear Factory in the Philippines. The boats are then prepared and tested at the track shop in Calgary before being sent out to the customer. This creates a quality assurance along with the amazing materials that track uses that you'll have a bomb-proof kayak that has been tested in some of the harshest and most punishing conditions in the world. From the frozen north of Arctic Canada and Iceland were the expeditioners, to the scorching sun and heat of the Philippines and Zanzibar with Cedar Summit, through the stomping rapids of the Ottawa River with Ken Whiting, and now tested all over the world with the track files. Back in Belize, the track gets put through some flat water antics. Playing around in it in the in the sea, I was concerned about uh, breaking it because you know it seems like a delicate boat being made of canvas stuff like that. Uh, Max and I were on either end of it, and I can't believe how it didn't snap. It flexes quite a bit, but uh, you know, two full-grown men sitting on a boat, any boat's gonna flex. But I was able to jump on top of it, really just you know give it a good beating, and was doing backflips off it and whatnot. It was durable enough to actually do a handstand and land on the bow and not have anything happen to the boat. It was really enjoyable. 
We also discovered that the track works well as a stand-up paddleboard, with the back deck easily taking my weight, though it was a very precarious balance position. One thing I did notice is that it doesn't paddle as well if there's not enough tension in the, in the frame. That's a key thing to know how to, how to use and how to feel the boat. The most important feature of the track are the hydraulic jacks. All of the track's unique features are owed to this system. From the tight tensioning of the skin to enable hard shell performance, to the kayak's quick setup and pack down abilities, and of course the adjustable hull ability. During setup, it is a requirement to tune the boat properly. This consists of 3 to 4 pumps on the lateral jacks and 7 to 10 pumps on the keel jack. From here, it's worth turning the boat over to check that the keel is straight. This gives you a good idea and a feel for when the boat is straight once you're on the water. Once on the water, you have complete freedom to adjust the hull how you like. Reaching through the modified skirt, you are able to adjust the rocker or the lateral curvature off the side of the track. My name is Thomas Baumann. I've been paddling for, let's see now, almost 25 years now. I've been on a U.S. surf kayak team. I've competed nationally for slalom kayaking and uh, sprint kayaking. Yeah, it was interesting that he put the rocker on there and boy, it really, <laughs> really likes to turn. Uh, with a rocker down or out and a straight tracks really well that doesn't drift for i think for a folding boat it's yeah fairly stiff i don't think you can get a whole lot stiffer um, it is a lot of fun to have that control over whether you're going to put the rocker in or not well very good i enjoyed it <laughs> Though often seen as a gimmick, the track's side adjustment has a great influence on the boat, especially when dealing with sidewinds, and gives a new twist of functionality to the old rudderless kayak system. While adventuring and filming for the track files, I've paddled many days of 10 nautical miles or more, and often encountered continuous sidewinds. The simple ability to change the side curvature of the track means the track increases its efficiency at paddling straight by countering weathercocking, which is the act of the kayak either turning up or downwind. Though not as user friendly as a rudder system, it is just as good as a skeg system. And as with skegs and rudders on well designed boats, you'll hardly have to use it anyway, though it is a lovely addition on those rough weather days. The adjustable rocker is of course awesome in rough water conditions, whether it is simply busting out and back in through surf, or playing in surf or simply the need to stop your bow from diving under swell when paddling in rough conditions. The ability to change the hull from a long distance touring mode to maneuverable rough water mode in turn allows a flat water tripper, a park and play fun machine and everything in between. Which at the end of the day packs up into a bag in under 10 minutes and makes the track one of the most unique kayaks on the market. To summarize, the track has a durable construction which makes it suitable for all sea kayak activities. The track makes a great day tripper for larger paddlers. The track is more than able to handle the rigors of any conditions you can throw at it. The adjustable hull means the boat can adapt to how you want to paddle it. And let's not forget that the track is durable enough to be launched off ski jumps and survive, though you may not. Oh! Oh, oh no! It's the Isadora Duncan flight of oh. the... Uh, <laughs> oh man, is she okay? How do you tell? How do you tell? With a mannequin? Actually, oh, it should oh. be a girlikin. <laughs> I you thought didn't that think was, it was a real a pers person. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, we just put a real person Did you down do here that on the purpose? kayak, and the head came off, and I'm giggling. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a real person. <laughs> Decapitated on our show. Yes. I'm a nervous wreck. That was pretty good. The funniest thing is you think it was a real person. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need a martini. <laughs> yeah, no, who doesn't? I like my very favorite song.